Enabling the digital economy. Welcome everyone and thanks for being here today. My name is Marco and this is Aaron and we're team Hebe. So it's not Hebe, it's Hebe. Similar to Nike, Hebe is a Greek goddess, the goddess of youth. And at Hebe, we believe that youth and technology is the future. We understand that many companies are dealing with the problem of how to secure personal data in an open API environment. We picture the open API environment as an open drawer where firms and banks can freely um, share customers' information. With such an open concept, though, there is an issue of security where breaches and abuse, unfortunately, are bound to happen. So one recent example is the misuse of more than 87 million Facebook users' data by Cambridge Analytica. This is not just an issue of security, but an issue of trust when it comes to their personal data in the general population. So what can be done to address this issue? Well, a forward-looking example is the country of Estonia, which has stored 1.2 million of their citizen data on a database protected by a cryptography system. We look at Estonia here as an example of what can actually be done to address this issue and improve security also at the banking level. So we've been thinking, how do we address this problem? Well, every once in a while, a revolutionary technology comes along that changes everything. Potentially, this new technology today is blockchain. And thanks to its many applications, we are about to introduce a new platform based on three different ideas. A new security system underpinned by blockchain. Secondly, a revolutionary system of economic incentive to improve customers' trust in the banking system. And lastly, looking to the future, a new banking platform to move forward with technology. We repeat here, security underpinned by blockchain. Trust ensured by a system of economic incentive, and of course, a new banking platform. Today, we're proposing one unique solution to three different problems. We give you the Hebe platform. What is Hebe? Hebe is a platform where personal data can be stored and secure and shared among participants in the network. The database is protected by, um, by blockchain technology. Uh, the highly secure cryptography system does not allow unauthorized players to access the data. Instead, access will be granted to authorized players who hold the cryptography key. So who exactly will the authorized players be? Well, firstly, their customers. Customers will share their information on a banking application. Customers will feel safer knowing that their information is securely stored by the blockchain. And then we have banks, of course. We believe the platform will create a spillover's effect by reducing potential cost through diversification of risk, costs related to regulation compliance, such as the newly introduced GDPR in Europe, and why not, sharing of know-how. In addition, by having access to a more complete data set of information will allow Ben to create better targeted products which will benefit the customers in the end. So we understand that a customer's data is a very valuable asset and there'll be third-party firms who are willing to get this information, maybe for marketing purposes or to create new products. But how do these third-party firms actually get the data? Well, through the blockchain mining process, only the winner firm will get the data, and that is their remuneration. Unlike the Bitcoin mining process, the tokens generated will actually go to the customers in the end. This creates even more incentive for customers to share the information. Tokens can be exchanged for products, access discounts, or exchange for dollars. Think of it as frequent flyers point. However, monetary incentive might not be enough for customers. Therefore, our aim is to give control back to customers by allowing them to decide whether or not to share the information with third-party firms through a single click on the application. Application feature that can be easily added to the current application run by each bank, enhancing the idea of security and control. So, why choose Hebe? I would like to note that this is our perception, as biased as we be, of the current way we see the situation. As mentioned before, there's a lack of security and a lack of trust in the social media sector, and therefore, it is safe to presume to put them in this quadrant over here. We also have the current way we store our information, such as cloud storage. There is still some trust in the system. However, we need to look forward to the ever-changing ways in this the data can be hacked or misused by other people. 
And then, of course, we have banks. We consider banks to be the most trustworthy and secure. I don't place. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Sorry about that. Um, that's why we decided to place them up there in that quadrant. And let's be fair here, also because it wouldn't have been nice not to do so in a financial conference. <laughs> so with the increase in security and trust that Hebe brings by giving back control to the customers and by the security that blockchain brings, we believe that Hebe to be at a slight advantage and replace ourselves over there. We're very humble. <laughs> The banking industry is in an era of disruption which requires new ideas and new approaches. With Hebe, we're bringing security back in your pocket, trusting customers, rethinking the way we do banking thanks to a new secure platform. So to wrap things up, we would like to leave you with a quote that by Einstein that beautifully entails our ideology and methodology here at Hebe. We can't solve problems using the same kind of thinking we used when we created them. And at Hebe, we're using three different ideas with a new technology to solve today's problem. Thank you. Thank you so much.